Could your grandchildren become the first Martians? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? Welcome to a journey through the history and progress of space colonization, a dream that has been part of the human imagination for centuries and is now closer than ever to becoming a reality. The concept of space colonization isn't new. It dates back to the late 19th century. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a Russian scientist, was one of the first to theorize about space travel, proposing that humanity could survive in outer space using pressurized habitats. He envisioned a future where humans would harness the sun's energy and colonize the entire solar system. Moving forward to the mid 20th century, when the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union was in full swing, the launch of the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, by the Soviet Union in 1957 marked the beginning of human endeavors in space. Following this, the United States Apollo missions, which culminated in Neil Armstrong's historic moonwalk in 1969, showed that humans could travel to and walk on other celestial bodies. In the 1970s, Gerard K. O'Neill, an American physicist, proposed the idea of space habitats in the Lagrange points, where the gravitational forces of two large bodies, like Earth and the Moon, balance the centrifugal force felt by a small object. These habitats, O'Neill suggested, could support human life and even ecosystems. Fast forward to the 21st century, the dream of space colonization is being pursued by both governmental space agencies and private companies. NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by 2024 and establish a sustainable human presence there by the end of the decade. Meanwhile, private companies like SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, have even more ambitious plans, aiming to establish a self-sustaining colony on Mars. So, where does that leave us today? The idea of space colonization is no longer a mere fantasy. It's a tangible goal. From Tsiolkovsky's theoretical concepts to O'Neill's space habitats, from the Apollo missions to the Artemis program and the ambitious plans of SpaceX, the dream of colonizing other planets and moons is gradually becoming a reality. To summarize, we've taken a journey through the history and progress of space colonization from its conceptual beginnings in the 19th century to the ambitious plans of the 21st. We've seen how the dream of colonizing other planets and moons has evolved from a far-fetched fantasy to a tangible reality. The question is no longer if we can live on other planets or moons, but when. And who knows, maybe your grandchildren will indeed become the first Martians.